the assassination of Gaius Julius Caesar. Exactly 2060 years ago, the most famous man who has ever lived, Gaius Julius Caesar, was assassinated. A great part of his modern fame actually comes from his assassination, although he was a giant measured by any other standard too. A great many myths and misconceptions surround the life and death of this man, which is understandable since it's been two millennia since he lived, but it's not acceptable because historical errors should always be corrected. Firstly, the name of this man is pronounced wrongly in about every modern language. Caesar, César, César, Césare, and so on. The correct way to pronounce his name in classical Latin, the only correct way of pronouncing the language of the Romans, is Gaius Julius Caesar. The most persistent misconception about Caesar relates to his political status. People often mistake him as emperor, particularly the first emperor of Rome. In fact, he was the last non-emperor leader of Rome. At Caesar's time, Rome was still a republic, even though the republic was having its last breath. Roman Republic was led by two consuls, who were elected for one-year terms. In 59 before Common Era, Caesar was elected as one of the two consuls. After that he formed a triumvirate, rule of three men, with the two other most powerful men in Rome at the time, Gnaeus Pompeius Magnus and Marcus Licinius Crassus. Pompeius was a famous military leader and politician, and Crassus was the richest man in the world. After a year in office of consul, Caesar was appointed proconsul, which was standard procedure after consulship. Proconsul was given a province to govern, and Caesar chose Gallia. Long story short, Caesar conquered Gallia and made it a province of Roman Republic. Caesar became incredibly rich since the Gauls had immense amounts of gold, which was stolen by the Romans. Caesar was also hugely popular by his legions and the people of Rome, which was a concern for the Senate. In 53 BCE, Crassus got killed in a battle in the east and the triumvirate was broken. The Senate, led by Pompeius, ordered Caesar to disband his army and return to Rome, since he had become too powerful in their eyes. Caesar said alea jacta est and did not cooperate. This resulted in civil war between Pompeius and Caesar, which Caesar won. Caesar was appointed dictator in Rome. The word dictator has bad connotations nowadays, but in ancient times it was just a title, which meant that unquestionable power was held by one man for a limited time. Dictators were only appointed in the time of crisis. Caesar then chased Pompeius to Egypt, where the former found the latter murdered and was not happy about it. In Egypt, Caesar also met Cleopatra, the most famous woman of all time, and got a son, Caesarion, together. Later, back in Rome, Caesar nominated himself a dictator for life, which didn't make the senators happy. They thought that Caesar would try to become king. Kingship was loathed by the Romans, since Rome had originally been a kingdom, but few of their last kings were so disliked by the people that they drove them in exile and constituted a republic instead. Now Senate saw the end of republic coming, and they weren't actually wrong, although their actions couldn't do anything to stop it. Senators formed a conspiracy which included some 60 members. This conspiracy was led by two men, Marcus Junius Brutus and Gaius Cassius Longinus. Everybody remembers Brutus as the murderer of Caesar, but Cassius was also an important figure in this scheme, and there were many others who participated in the killing. In 15th of March 44 BCE, Caesar was killed. This day was known as the Idus Martie, Ides of March in English, which was one of Rome's New Year's holidays. March was the first month of Roman calendar, which was by the way revived by Caesar after Egyptian sun calendar he became familiar with in his stay in that country. Contrary to popular belief, Caesar was not killed at the Senate building. Roman Senate usually assembled at Curia, a building in the Forum Romanum constructed for them, but this time, it was part of the plot, they gathered at the theater of Pompeius. Yes, it was built by the former friend, colleague and enemy of Caesar. The assassination carried on and Caesar received 23 stab wounds from the daggers of the conspiring senators. Caesar died in front of the statue of Pompeius. 
Along with him died the last chance of preserving the Roman Republic, since his murder resulted in new civil wars which led to Rome becoming an empire. Caesar's last words are not known. Roman historian Suetonius tells that Caesar didn't have last words. He had also heard that others said the dictator's last words being Kaisu technon, which means you too, child, in ancient Greek. It's in Greek because upper-class Romans spoke Greek at the time. The child part is thought to mean Brutus, and the phrase had evolved later into the more famous Latin one, et tu Brute, you too, Brutus. Made world known by William Shakespeare in his play Julius Caesar in 1599. There is a myth that Brutus was Caesar's illegitimate son, but there's actually nothing to prove it. Nor was Brutus Caesar's adopted son or heir, those owners belong to Octavianus, later Augustus, the first true emperor of Rome. What else happened then? Senators fled the anger of the public. Marcus Antonius, loyal friend of Caesar, defeated Brutus and Cassius in battle. They committed suicides. Marcus Antonius also executed Marcus Tullius Cicero, Rome's most famous orator and a political enemy of Caesar, but who didn't take part in the conspiracy against him. Cleopatra seduced Marcus Antonius. Another triumvirate was made involving Antonius and Octavianus. It got broken, civil war broke out between these men, Octavianus defeated Marcus Antonius and Cleopatra. They committed suicides. Caesar's and Cleopatra's son Caesarion was murdered by Octavianus, who got named Augustus by the Senate and became the sole ruler of the newly created Roman Empire. The Republic was lost forever. Summa summarum. Caesar was not an emperor, he was a consul, triumvir, proconsul and dictator, among other things. Brutus wasn't the only one murdering Caesar. Over 60 men conspired against him, and Cassius was the other main planner of the scheme. Caesar was murdered because Senate feared that he might proclaim himself king and Romans hated kings. The conspirators tried to restore the Republic, but they actually killed it. Caesar was not a tyrant, even though Brutus and Cassius claimed so. Caesar was actually loved by the people of Rome. Caesar was not murdered in the Senate House, Curia, but in the theatre of Pompeius. Caesar's last words were not et tu brute. He probably said nothing. I'm Sire Sasa. Thanks for watching.